what's up YouTube? My name is Yester Games, and today we are back with another episode of my WWE 2K17 Car Showcase Series. This will be the last episode that will be focusing on the male superstars. Now before we get into the video, two quick disclaimers. Number one, I hope that you all have fingers and are ready to type because I have a question that I want all of you that are watching this video currently to answer. I want to know what is your favorite car that I'll be showcasing in this video. I want to know what will be your favorite. If it will be this man right here, DJ Summers, or perhaps it will be a phenomenal Peter Young, or perhaps Ryan O'Ryan. Of course, we haven't seen them yet, so now you must see them to make that judgment. And our other disclaimer is that IPW will begin this coming Thursday. Yes, I know the women's episode has not been uploaded yet. However, I will be uploading it at a later time due to the fact that A, I don't necessarily need the women for the first month of IPW because they're not gonna be on the show. The first month is gonna be basically the entire thing. It's just gonna be me trying to crown a world champion to the tournament and I need that whole month for it. And also because I am very anxious to start IPW but I don't really wanna waste any more time. In fact, I'm starting it and 2K18 was literally just announced today for 1017. Already kind of puts me in a bad mood about it, but the show must go on. So those are two quick disclaimers done. IPW this Thursday, as well as I hope that you guys will be able to type in the comment section what will be your favorite car of this episode. And now that we are out of the disclaimer portion of the video and the intro is over, let's start with this car ladies and gentlemen i hope you all can meet dj summer now dj summer is a subscriber of mine and he asked me a while ago to make him a car however i reclined i reclined that's a word but it's not the correct word i declined because i didn't want to make any more youtube subscriber cards it's honestly it's kind of a hassle just because you have to fit someone's specific taste and i wasn't thinking about it during the time I was thinking about uh, DJ Z. He's a TNA wrestler. I think he's still in TNA. I haven't actually seen him in a while. Uh, the TNA wrestler who I started liking. I don't love him yet because I don't really care too much about him. But I started really liking him because he has a very cool entrance. Because he enters with his DJ helmet on. And it looks very, very cool. It looks very, very cool. So that's uh, something that I really, really thought was cool. So it made me think of this DJ character. So I started to make a DJ character, and this is kind of what it came out to be. Although I started thinking about DJ Summer while I was making it, and kind of decided to just make him instead. It made sense. DJ Summer, DJ Z, you might as well make a DJ character and just name him DJ Summer. So here is DJ Summer here. Gonna be dissecting like we always do here at the face. I give him this nice haircut with the uh, the headband there, some tropical uh, palm trees, and of course the DJ with the brown and the green there. I really like his face because I feel like I did a very nice job with the facial hair. I think it looks really nice. Uh, here's his body. I'm going to delete that tattoo. I forgot to do it before I started recording, but that tattoo will be gone. Uh, my original idea was that a lot of DJs have tattoos and are very tatted, but I'm not actually a fan of it right now. I don't like it. I'm going to delete it. Uh, so I gave him some wrist tape, finger tape as well. Now here are the trunks. I'm very proud of these trunks because this took me a lot of work and I'm very happy that I did it. It came out very, very nicely. Uh, so here's what it looks like. So my idea was on the front at least that DJ, DJs use records. So I was trying to make this circle resemble a record. The uh, the plastic little lines you guys are seeing is what I was trying to make um, look like a uh, shiny glare bouncing off of it. It's not perfect. Honestly, it would have been easier if I would just taken a record logo or just a real record off Google, but I decided to make it and I like it. I think it's cool. Sometimes you gotta do in the work, can't uh, take the easy way out. So here's what it looks like. DJ Summer's obviously uh, on the record. And uh, it's in his name, DJ Summer. I decided that Tropical was a very nice idea for this, so I thought it was really cool. I decided to make it like this. 
So here's what it looks like, obviously. Uh, I got this very nice image of a tropical background. You can see a beach ball right there. Uh, you can see like the, you know, the background, there's some palm trees right there in the picture. And ocean, as well as a nice, very clear sky, it looks like. And I decided to use actual palm tree logos that I got off Google to make a border for it, which I thought looked really, really cool, and I'm really enjoying it. I think it looks really good. It took me some hard work to do, but I really enjoy it. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this car and this attire generally is that I had to use black. Um, I was trying to set a stipulation to myself that I couldn't use black, during this creation because I feel like I use black so much. Uh, however, I did everything, everything about right here. I didn't include the logo because I don't, because I can't change the color of those. Um, but it didn't really work out because I don't like white knee pads for this, so I had to use black. And I just, it kind of makes me sad because I kind of, I ruined my own stipulation, but I still think overall the attire looks very, very nice. You guys can see the knee pads, gave them like that really nice one there, compact, uh, brown. The boots, a little bit shorter than I would normally use, but I still like them. Uh, so that is that. Uh, of course, I think it looks pretty nice. Overall good attire, uh, rocking the green and the brown color scheme because tropical, I decided, you know, tropic uh, trees would be kind of like the color scheme. Uh, now, because he's a DJ, I'm thinking about DJ Z. I was trying to find a cool way to kind of like incorporate a DJ's helmet. If you don't know what that is, go look it up on Google Images. They look freaking dope. I was trying to find a way to incorporate that in this, and it came out okay. It looked really cool during the entrance. I'm actually very happy about that. I might show it to you guys like at the end of the episode, maybe. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Uh, so, here is his entrance attire. I gave him the Shinsuke Nakamura jacket. Looks really cool. Gave him the Becky Lynch strap goggle things. I'm going to call it a mask for short because it's actually a lot of different things all put into one. It looks really cool. So it looks really cool. Um, this is a different kind of headband, however. Uh, the headband I was using for the wrestling attire, I was unable to use in joint with this. So it it's a different headband, but I still like it. I think it looks really cool. DJ, of course, and it looks basically the same thing. It's just longer, which is why there's all this extra fabric in the back. So uh, here is DJ Summers. Uh, you guys can see in the top left corner all the information about DJ Summers. Of course, his name, DJ Summers, his finishing move, the honor roll. It's a former Xavier Woods finishing move. It's basically a clothesline, but he jumps and it's kind of like a roll with it. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to be calling it the Get Down because of DJ and everything. It makes sense. And uh, that's going to be it for DJ. I have to acknowledge this, though. You guys can obviously see there is no second attire. The reason for that is I don't know what to do for the second attire. I have no idea what to do for it. I was thinking about using pants, but I'm not sure because I would have to use like a, a whole different thing. I don't think I can make tropical pants. So that might be something I'm going to have to work on. So for right now, this is his only attire. That doesn't bother me too much because I overall really like the attire. I like how this came out. I, did, I think it came out really, really good. So that's it for DJ Summers. And now let's move on to our next car. We're going to be moving on to uh, Ryan O'Ryan. All right, guys, so here we have our next call. This is Ryan O'Ryan. Now, let me guys, uh, let me give you the backstory about Ryan O'Ryan. Ryan O'Ryan is a call that I thought of a couple years ago. This is before I started YouTube. Um, and the original idea was a Mojo Raleigh-like character in the sense of very playful and energetic, although not as big as Mojo, uh, skinnier. Uh, like on the physique level of Seth Rollins, uh, Eddie Guerrero. So uh, I thought about that call when I was deciding who to make, and I thought, okay, let's make Ryan O'Ryan how I made him like a couple years ago. This is like in 2012 when I was playing uh, WWE 12. This is before 2K Takeover for for kids who don't know 2012. Um, 
Now I was gonna do that and it, I did it. It came out very, very ugly. Part of that's because I forgot at the time that Ryan O'Ryan, when I made him, was not a solo character. He was a tag team character. So the, the attire I made for him like 2012 worked out, but as a solo, it didn't work out. So I was kind of stumped for a minute deciding, so what do I do? I still want to make Ryan O'Ryan, but I don't want to use the energetic, kiddish kind of style. So I started thinking of gimmicks and immediately popped into my head was Silas Young. And Silas Young is a Ring of Honor wrestler whose gimmick is he is the last real man of pro wrestling. And I thought that was a great gimmick. So that's kind of what I started to do here. So this is Ryan O'Ryan. He's a very manly man. You guys can see it here. I gave him this nice beard. Love the beard. I have never used his beard before. I don't have a whole lot of cause that have beards that like extend off the uh, the chin. Most of my beards are on the chin, on the face. But I don't have a whole lot of beards that extend past the face. This is one of them. Jeff Sparks is also one of them. So here is Ryan O'Ryan. Uh, I gave him a lot of tattoos actually. Not a lot, but well, it's more for me. So you guys can see all around. Uh, I gave him that claw mark. That was my phone, I'm sorry. I gave him that claw mark on his on his left trap. Gave him this song, star combination logo. Gave him this cool ass demon devil horn skull thing, which looks awesome, which is really cool for a manly man because, well, it's manly. It's a demon. And I also gave him this very nice uh, tribal tattoo. I thought it looked pretty good too. I, I think it looks pretty cool, dude. Uh, I gave him this elbow pad because the tribal logo kind of, it kind of uh, did a fadeaway thing. So I'm using the elbow pad so that it can block it. Uh, we jump down a little bit and we have some MMA fighting gloves. Of course, with the wrist tapes, you guys can see. Thought it was pretty uh, cool. Now, here are the trunks. Uh, I have this very, very nice um, crossbones and beard logo that I got. I think it looks very, very nice here. And on the back, you might have already read it, but if you haven't, read it now. And if you can't read, let me read it to you. It says, real men have beards. And now if you haven't noticed already, this man is definitely a bearded man. This man is not a, not a smooth chinner. This man is a hairy, a hairy man. With a hairy chin. And hairy off the chin. So I thought it was uh, very, very nice to think about. I got inspired by some memes that I saw on Google about uh, beards. There are two people that don't have beards, women and children, and I am neither of those. That's not the correct meme I'm thinking about, but it's close enough. Uh, here we go, gave him some boots and knee pads. Nothing really to talk about there, so I'm gonna skip over it. Uh, here's his entrance attire. You guys can see it right here, it's a nice little shirt. And it says, a real man is a bearded man. And of course I do have the, uh, the beard and crossbows logo still right there on the shirt. I still thought that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with the attire. I really like Ryan O'Ryan this year. I'm happy that I uh, I decided to go this way, the really manly man gimmick. Now moving on to his second attire, I decided to um, step a little bit away from the beard stuff and make him a little bit more brutal. He's a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more brutal. So here's the new attire. Of course, I'm keeping the MMA gloves elbow pad with some little bit of uh, tape under it. Now here are the new trunks. I got this really nice skull off uh, CC. I think it looks really, really nice with the toxic logo in the background. That's really good. And I got this cool logo from Google. This is an awesome logo. I love it. Nice brutality logo. You can see the dragon right there and it looks really, really nice. This attire is supposed to be a little bit more brutal. This attire is like him, very angry which I thought was cool. Gave him these new boots. You guys can see the skull logo is on the outside while the brutality logo is on the inside of the boots. I thought it looked really, really nice. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. I like it. I also like that 
That super cool freaking tattoo on his back, dude. That looks so dope. Uh, my apologies, guys. I didn't mention the top left corner of your guys' screen where you guys can see his information. Of course, you guys know his name now, Ryan O'Ryan. But you don't know, or you might know, you might not know what I'm going to tell you now. If you know, if you don't know, I don't care if you know. His finishing move is the sit-out last ride power bomb. Sit-out, pretty self-examinatory. It's when you when you sit, when you fall, basically. The last ride is the Undertaker's finishing move back when he was doing his whole biker thing the power bomb which is also pretty self discriminatory or if you want someone a little bit more recent to identify with it is Kota Ibushi's finishing move uh as well as the um the phoenix the phoenix splash I think it's just called the phoenix splash Ryan O'Ryan can do the phoenix splash Ryan O'Ryan does not do the phoenix splash it's just Kota Ibushi Cody Ibushi's finishers are the Phoenix and the last ride sit out. Uh, Ryan O'Ryan just does the sit out last ride, and it's called the Manly Ride. So here is the shirt that I got for this attire. Brutality is what I do best. I think it's a really nice shirt. Takes advantage of the really nice logo, and I'm I I like it. I'm digging it, guys. I'm feeling it. I think overall I did pretty good with this car showcase. I like what I did here. But of course, like I said, tell me what your guys' favorite call of this episode was. Maybe it's Ryan O'Ryan. Maybe it's DJ Summers. Maybe it's our next call, Jackson Wright. Maybe it's a car after that, uh, the phenomenal Peter Young. Maybe it's uh, Jason Diamond. I don't know. We'll see. So now uh, let's move on to our next call, as I've just said, Jackson Wright. All right, guys. So here is Jackson Wright. Now, Jackson Wright um, is a recreation of a car that I created before named the Bad Guy Scott Hunter. Jackson Wright is another creation that he is still keeping the bad guy gimmick with a different name, of course. And I actually like this car creation form of the bad guy better than Scott Hunter. You guys can go back and look at one of the, uh, the car showcases from before and tell me what you guys think. So here, you guys go, here is uh, Jackson Wright. Gave him the man bun. And I really also like the facial hair that I did here, just like DJ Summers, where it looks really, really nice. Gave him some piercings as well and some really nice green eyes. Those eyes just look right into your soul. So um, moving around here, here you have some wrist tape and finger tape. Here are the trunks. Uh, you can see the word bad right there with a nice little wolf logo, kind of sort of under it. It's not, it's not under all the letters, but just the A and the word bad. Now you turn the trunks around and it says motherfucker because Jackson Wright is a bad guy and he's one bad motherfucker. Also give him some body hair this time. I don't want to forget to point that out. Give him some body hair. Thought it'd be nice to what uh, to add on. Gave him some nice boots and knee pads. Use some new boots. I never used these boots before, so I thought it'd be cool to use them now. I think they look pretty nice. Really worth the attire. Uh, overall, really like it. I really like the other uh, man bun here. The facial hair and the hair combo is like something that I really am proud of here. I think it looks really, really cool. So you guys can see it here. If you guys didn't see uh, Money in the Bank last night, I would heavily suggest that you guys either plug your ears or skip ahead for about the next 30 seconds. So double tap the screen if you need to, or just continue tapping for about the next 40 seconds, 35, starting about now. So uh, this hairstyle really reminds me of Mike Bennett. I really, really like it. Really, really like it, like a whole lot, because I like Mike Bennett. Uh, he came to WWE last night at Money in the Bank with his wife, Maria Canales. Uh, I'm kind of concerned, because they called his, they, they said Mike and Maria Canales. So I'm hoping that they're, they're not doing a Cody Rhodes thing, where it's like Cody 
and Brandy Rose. I hope they're not gonna do that because they 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 have to do that in like indies and stuff, which I hope they're not doing with uh, with Mike and Maria. I hope he gets his own name. But anyway, I just I do like the man bun. It really works. Cause I like Mike Bennett, and it kind of reminds me of him. I I, will, I hope he succeeds. I don't want I don't want him to stick with the whole love Maria thing. I I don't like that. I started liking him. I started liking Mike because of the kingdom of Taven and Cole and Maria, but um, them playing on their relationship doesn't really suit me. I don't like it that much. So now let's move on to the uh, the second attire. <sighs> All right. So this attire I'm not super fond of because I messed up the trunks. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed it before. Uh, but I'm trying to take inspiration for my trunks from the current cruiserweight. I really like this cruiserweight, uh, Tony Nice. Tony Nice has some really, really cool looking trunks. Uh, so I tried to kind of copy those and make them look cool, but they didn't come out very well. Uh, I guess I have to fix up the pattern. I have to do some more stuff with it. So this is kind of like my rip-off Tony Nice. Though so you guys can see, I did put the uh, the Wolf logo right there, dead center. Go around. Here is the other uh, words here. One bad motherfucker. So we got there. I think it looks okay. I mean, it looks decent. It's just it's not as good as it could be. Which is why it's only the second attire. It, uh... I don't know. It might... I might do some stuff to change around with it. Maybe later. But moving on. You guys can see that I have uh, some body hair elbow pads. Along with the, uh, the wrist tape. Wrist and hand tape. Moving down, we have the same knee pads that we had from before. But we have these very nice boots that I also like. Uh, I actually like these boots better than I like the boots from the first attire, but I think overall these boots and the boots from the first attire go with their own attires better. Now you guys noticed that I didn't give either attire an entrance attire because I didn't really want to. I thought that they look uh, very, very good as they were. I'm enjoying this. So here is the bad guy, Jackson Wright. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this car. You guys can look up in the top left corner right now and see his finishing move as well as his other information. Uh, his name's the bad guy, Jackson Wright. Uh, I gave him the attitude adjustment pile driver as a finisher. I'm going to be calling it the bad pile driver. And uh, yeah, so here is Jackson Wright. And now, guys, let's move on to our uh, our next car. We're going to be moving on to the phenomenal one, Peter Young. All right, guys, so here is the phenomenal one. The phenomenal. Phenomenal. I haven't decided what to call him really yet. Peter Young. And it's very obvious where I got the idea for this car from. He is the phenomenal one. In real life, he is the man that built the house of Smack Down Live. His name is AJ Styles. So here is uh, my creation of Peter Young. Gave him the Seth Rollins hair and beard combo. I think it looks really nice. Gave him a heart tattoo. It's a real heart, by the way, not an animated heart. Uh, here we have elbow pads and some wrist tape. Now, before we get into the tile, let me show you guys this, because I didn't know about this until recently. If you guys uh, ever want to change up your boots so that the boots are different, you have to use tights. And I prefer that you guys use these tights because the other tights you can use don't look as good. Uh, that's what I used here. These tights, the generic section, they're right next to the Chris Jericho's from 2001. And right under 
the stripper ones. That's what I used. And I really like it because it came out really, really well for this tire. Now you can also use tights like these and it also kind of works. Although I don't like it as much. I prefer these ones because it really looks good here. I just wanted to point that out because I myself did not know that until recently. So here is Peter Young. Of course, you guys can already know I used those tights to change the boots. Here are the trunks here. I gave him that all or nothing logo, which I thought would play off the phenomenal gimmick. I got these two semicircles on the bucks to try to simulate the idea of uh, pockets, which I think look really cool. I'm working on those. And then I have this nice line going down the left leg or his right leg. And it does say phenomenal. You guys can see with the black lettering and the white outline so that it kind of sticks out. And I also do have this nice uh, black border going around the tights. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, knee pads, nothing there, nothing to talk about. I thought that, I thought the camo that I used for the boots looked really, really good. And I'm really happy with it. I had these, uh, got this nice black and white camo stuff from uh, from Google put it on here so that the boots would you know pop and look really different I really really like it it's really really nice got a one right there and a young right there because it's really good now I'm probably gonna be calling him the phenomenal one because I have the one right there but I am um, I'll probably be mixing up between the Phenomenal, Just Phenomenal, or the Phenomenal 1 Peter Young. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. You guys prefer the Phenomenal 1 Peter Young, Phenomenal Peter Young, or the Phenomenal Peter Young? I'll probably switch it up kind of a lot, but here is his first attire. Now, moving on to his second attire. While we do that, let me guys, uh, let me point your attention to the top left corner of the screen so you guys can see all the information about the Phenomenal Peter Young. Of course, his name, the Phenomenal Peter Young. His finishing move, the 1916, which is uh, Finn Balor's standing grapple finishing move. And I'm going to be calling it Young Forever because his last name is Young. It makes sense. So here we go. Here is his trunks attire. Uh, I got rid of the elbow pads, changed up one of the wrist tapes. And the entire trunks is all with the metallic... Uh, material I think it looks really really good and I'm happy with it I think it turned out really nice you guys can see it here uh, it's a little square on the front that says phenomenal uh, right here it says Peter with squares only on the top right and bottom left and the opposite here with the one saying young top left bottom right uh, my idea was that these two would come together to form this phenomenal. I thought it was a cool, cool idea. I like how I did it. I think it looks really, really good as a metallic, and I'm very happy with it. Here are the nice boots. Uh, use these boots as well. They look pretty nice. I was going to make them metallic as well, but they didn't turn out very well. Uh, black is not very good as a metallic color. It comes out looking gray, which I'm not a big fan of. If I want black, I want black. If I want gray, I want gray which is something that I forgot to mention when it comes to uh, the tights before. The tights that I used for the first attire, if you wanna use black on those tights, you're gonna have to use a couple of uh, square logos to fill that in, because if you use black, it's gonna come out gray. I forgot to point that out in case anyone out there is like me and you just, you when you want black, you want black, you want gray, you want gray. You don't want that kind of uh, thing that it does and I'll show it to you guys right now so you guys understand what I'm talking about in case you don't yes so here it is it comes out gray that's what I'm talking about uh, you're gonna have to use that something else you guys are probably gonna have to uh, do this and just color it black like a few dozen times <laughs> not joking about that so I just thought to use a different color I just decided to use white because obviously I don't have time to be doing that <laughs> I'm lazy so here's the second attire, once again, you guys can all see it. 
I really like this whole car in general. The idea, of course, is uh, from the phenomenal AJ Styles, but I think that it looks really, really nice, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Tell me what you guys think, of course, what your favorite car is. I've been reminding you guys about that to like the entire video. I really like this car. I'm not sure exactly if it's one of my favorites this time around, but I can say that uh, I do definitely love it. So now let's move on to our, uh, our last call of this episode. We've seen DJ Summers, we've seen Ryan O'Ryan, we've seen Jackson Wright, we've seen the phenomenal Peter Young, and now let's move on to our last call of this episode, Jason Diamond. All right, guys, so here is Jason Diamond. Um, this car is not the best. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, here's my issue here. I haven't had a C as of recently. I got it back like a couple days ago. So a lot of the cars that you guys have seen, basically everyone except Peter Young, Peter Young's been done for about a week. Uh, everyone else has been done or has been even made within the past two or three days. And I'm putting this out here because I'm tired of procrastinating. I need to get down to business, gotta get back to work. Uh, Jason Diamond is kind of suffering from that where I'm rushing and I couldn't make up an idea. I did have an idea originally and I was gonna try to make it work. I tried the idea, it didn't work. I just wasn't a fan of it. Uh, so I was left without an idea. So I kind of resorted to what I would normally do, although it came out very generic and very ugly. And I'm not really a big fan of it. So uh, this is one car that I'm going to have to make an update video on at some point in time. Uh, probably in a couple days. It probably won't be too long away, but I'm gonna need a little bit more time with this car. So here's what it looks like right now. Just imagine this off as a jumping off point for Jason Diamond. You can see uh, his face and everything. Give him that nice box haircut. I think that's the box. I don't know haircuts very well. I've been getting the same haircut ball fade for like the past two or three years because I don't know any of their haircuts and I'm too embarrassed to ask when I go to the barber shop. Uh, so I don't know a lot of haircuts. The next time I go, I'll probably ask for a buzz cut because I'm gonna let my hair, my hair grows very fast and it grows curly. So I'm probably just gonna let it grow out for a while and then go and just get a buzz cut because that's all I know. The only um, the only haircuts that I know are boxes, uh, ball fake. That's what I always I've been getting that for like the past two or three years. Buzz cuts, crew cuts, and then cow tongues, which I can't get. Which I wish I wish I could get. That'd be awesome. I'd love to get a cow tongue. Uh, but I don't. I'm not sure if crew cuts and dreads are counting as haircuts. So I'm not sure exactly how much cutting goes into that process. But I do know those as well. Oh, and mohawks. I totally forgot about mohawks. How did I forget about mohawks? Uh, those are the only haircuts that I know, though. I don't know like anything else. So I, this might be a box. This might not be. This might be a bus cut. All honestly, but it's not like what I would think of when I see a bus cut. So this is kind of what we're going for here. Uh, gave him here the trunks. Gave him an elbow pad, wrist, and hand tape. Gave him some nice Kenta trunks with diamonds on both sides. On the back it says diamond in the rough. Uh, some nice boots and knee pads. Uh, it looks pretty good. I didn't want any kind of contrast between the boots and the knee pads this time around. So it's all one selection here. Uh, now, I do like the shirt, honestly. I do like the shirt. Uh, if you can't read or if you don't want to read, I'm going to read it to you. It says, on the front, your mom gave birth to garbage. On the back, it says mine, a question mark, and then dot, 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 and then says A, and then it has a picture of a diamond. Basically, your mom gave birth to garbage, which is you. My mom gave birth to a diamond, which is me. And it's very cocky, very rude, and that's what I was going for. I'm trying to make a very arrogant, nasty heel. And I think when that's my goal, this came out very, very well. In terms of the shirt, I think the shirt worked out very well. 
Although the attire, I'm not crazy for it. I don't think I did the best job on it. I will uh, be coming back here definitely to try to make it look better and better. So uh, while we move on to the second attire, I'm going to point your guys' direction to the top left corner of your guys' screen. You guys can see his information up top. His name is Jason Diamond. He has the gory special flatliner as a finisher. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I would suggest you go watch Lucha Underground or go watch Brian Cage match highlights. It's a flatliner, but it looks really, really cool when he does it. It looks like a devastating move because Brian Cage is huge. That dude is jacked. And it looks so cool that I wanted to use the move of the finisher, so I put it on Jason. Now, he's not living up to that finisher uh, right now because of how he looks, but trust me, give me some time and he'll live up to that finisher. Definitely. Definitely. And I will be calling it uh, the Flat Diamond because Diamond, you know, it's a flat liner. I thought it was a cool name, the Flat Diamond. So uh, here we go here. Here's Jason Diamond's second attire. Two elbow pads. Uh, diamond on the front and on the back. And of course the diamond, the physical diamond, right there on the crotch. Uh, the same wrist and hand tape. Didn't really feel the need to change it. Uh, nice boots and knee pads. <sighs> uh, this is not my best car, guys. This car will be updated very soon. Do not worry. So he has the nice Dean Ambrose jacket. It does say diamond in the rough on the back of it. And that is uh, that is Jason Diamond, guys. Uh, not my best call, I'm not going to lie. It's okay. If I was going for like a very indie kind of guy, this would be hitting it out of the park. Or, well, maybe, maybe. maybe. But I'm not going for that. I'm going to make him look really, really cool and really nice. Which he doesn't right now, but he will. Just give me some more time with him. Uh, so that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you guys can do the episode. Tell me down below in the comment section who was your favorite car of this episode. Did you guys like Jason Diamond? Did you guys like DJ Summer? Did you guys like Ryan Orion? Did you guys like Jason Wright? Or did you guys like the phenomenal Peter Young the best? Tell me what you guys thought. Remember, IPW's first episode will be uploaded on Thursday. Sometime Thursday. I don't have really time though for that. It will just be uploaded on Thursday. That's three days from now. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Today after that's Wednesday. Thursday. Three days. All right, guys. Hope you all have a nice day. I will see you guys in the next video. I will be streaming uh, later tonight. I'll be streaming Overwatch, some competitive. And then I'll probably go back-to-back -back streaming, if not some a little bit of a break in between for some Mass Effect. So I hope you all have a nice day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.